Hello friends, this is Saxon. In this video, we are going to discuss about the camera constraints. Let us start. Okay, first of all, just keep it in mind that camera constraint is equal to type of camera movement. There are five constraints under this section. No constraint, fixed camera position constraint, plane movement constraint, line movement constraint and circle movement constraint. Let us see. We can divide the camera movement into two categories, free move and nodal pan. Here I will show you a preview of free move and nodal pan. Just have a look. I hope you guys get the main difference. Yes, the free move camera is moving from one point to another one and the nodal is just rotating from its own center point. Yes, free move camera will have rotation and translation values. For example, just look this picture. In this picture, the cameraman is walking with the camera. So here the camera is not a static position. It is moving from its starting position. For example, we can say the handy cam. Thus, this kind of camera position or camera movement we will consider as free move camera. Now we will talk about the nodal camera. Compared to the free move camera, nodal camera don't have the translation values. For example, a camera fixed on a tripod. This camera will have only the rotation values. Next one is line constraint. As it mentioned, this camera movement will be like a straight line or a parallel line. And next one is circle constraint. This is the example of circle movement. Okay, so these are the main constraints or camera movements. Okay, now we will see how to categorize these constraints in under free move and nodal pan. See this chart. Except fixed camera constraint, all the other constraints are free move because only fixed one doesn't have the translation value. One more major difference of this category is the nodal pan cam don't have parallax. Do you know what is parallax? I'll tell you. While traveling, you must be noticed that the object nearby us will move very fast and the objects far from us will move very slowly. This is happening because we are moving from a position to another. The difference which is happening for these two objects movement is called parallax. I told you parallax is happening because of the translation. In this list except nodal all other camera constraints will have the parallax in the camera view. That's it for today's videos. Hope you guys like this video. Feel free to ask any doubts on this topic. Please like, share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for new updates.